Question one for part E, that's E for echo. And I hope you guys have studied well enough. I wish you guys good luck for your exam. So today is the 9th of June, 2022. So everyone that has the exam tomorrow, good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment and share. I will be doing more units later on. So once again, good luck and let's get cracking. So Maria is a scientist working as part of a team studying the British weather. An unmanned data logging system. Okay, let's get this out of the way first. Unmanned simply means that there's no one sitting there doing the work. So when you hear about unmanned drones, there is not a person actually standing on the ground and walking behind the drone and flying it like the cheaper ones that we have here in the UK and in America, for example. This is an unmanned thing. It's, it's, it's just left to do its own thing. An unmanned data logging system has been set up uh, in the mountains of Scotland to monitor weather conditions such as temperature and rainfall. Until recently, Maria has collected the data by visiting the weather station. Due to improvements in communication technology, Maria no longer needs to visit the weather station. <clears throat> uh, explain two ways in which, in, uh, in which improvements in communication technology have removed the need to visit the weather station. Right, so here we have more or improved data transmission systems provide wider geographical uh, coverage, enabling signals to be sent access from more remote locations. So think of it like this. I, um, I went to one of these random UK towns last year summer. I was really far out from London. And you would assume that the further you are from London, the worse your signal gets. That's typically the case. However, even though I was really far out, my signal wasn't good. I still had a signal, right? Now, if, it, if, the, if I had an emergency and I needed to make a phone call, I could make it. If I needed to send an email, I was sending emails. I, so I was sending WhatsApp messages. I was sending videos. I was sending pictures. It was perfectly fine. So all that this means is that because technology has improved so much, it's not only in the built-up areas. It's everywhere. So let's just say I have an undermanned, an unmanned uh, sensor recording temperature in Kingston, Jamaica, right? I'm here in the UK. I can easily get that data transferred to me very 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 quickly even using a 3g connection it would work perfectly fine even though we're past 3g we're past 4g we're, we're into the realms of 5g now improvements in data transmission systems provide greater uh, broadband width enabling larger quantities of data to be transmitted simultaneously reducing the frequency of sampling okay this is quite a detailed one actually this is edging more in the realms of computer science especially that second part so what this means simply is that Back in the early days of broadband, there was no way we were even considering getting 1,000 megabits per second. I have a friend who has 1,000 megabits per second download, right? That's, that, that, that's just crazy. So broadband width means that more data can be sent through at any one time and enabling a larger quantity of data to be transmitted simultaneously. So rather than me waiting for one download to finish, when I was a young person, I used to have to sit there and wait for one download to finish before I start another one. Because as soon as I start another one, the other one just halves. And it would keep halving until either one of them cancels or one of them stops. All right, but nowadays, we don't really have to worry about that. Yes, one of them might halve or it might not be as quick for one, but it is nowhere near what it used to be. So it says reduces uh, or reducing the frequency of sampling. What that means is when you're sampling audio, let me open Audacity, right? Um when you're sampling audio or when you're sampling a file what that means is that you go in at particular points and you pick out some stuff now let's see if this works when you're picking out stuff you actually don't pick out every single thing so there's a thing known as a sample rate and that tells the pc or the processor or the program how many times per second this audio file needs to be sampled and it is only the sampled file that's saved but because we can send such large files we don't need to sample as much we can just send the entire thing, right? That's what that means. We, we, we don't need to pick out parts of the program that we want. We can just send as much as we need to. Transmission systems are more reliable. Entering the data will be sent regularly. That's very true as well. Things don't get dropped as much. When I was, again, a young person, I used to download things and just cross my fingers and hope for the best. But nowadays, it's relatively um, reliable. Now, the internet is not as reliable as you would like to think, but for day-to-day -day use for 99% of companies, is perfectly fine. Hardware technologies have improved. Devices have more functionality to receive and send data. I have a, a Motorola phone. 
brand new phone cost um it, it was worth what 300 pounds i have 5g speeds on a 300 pound phone now again because we've come so far with technology we don't i i, I don't have to spend a thousand pounds on a on a device to get 5g i don't have to spend two thousand pounds on a laptop or a desktop to get one gigabit ethernet it's just a standard thing now I don't think there are even any phones being made now that don't have either 4G or 5G, as long as they're smartphones anyway. You know what? I'm not sure if I explained sampling well enough. So uh, let me just do it again in a, maybe a slightly different way. So sampling, the purpose of sampling is to try and reduce the original file size. As I said, typically when you sample audio, because the audio file is so big or so large or so detailed, you don't want every single thing. So we typically sample things that only us humans can hear because there are frequencies that we humans cannot hear or cannot hear very well or the average person spending uh, i don't know four or five hundred pounds on a pair of headphones that seems expensive to me and to maybe to most of you guys but people that work in a studio they spend thousands of pounds on headphones and they can hear a lot more detail so when they sample the audio and they send it out to normal people to listen to they get rid of some of the stuff that the typical um, headphones or the typical human won't be able to hear, that's number one. And they, they get rid of all of the other frequencies that we don't need. So that reduces the file size. So typically speaking, let's say a wave file, a WAV, a wave file might be 100 megabytes for one minute. A typical MP3 might be one megabyte per minute. So that's 100 times smaller. And generally speaking, we can make out what's being said. And it sounds pretty good to most of us. Like when you listen to an MP3 that a friend sent you or that you've downloaded or you've listened to, you won't say, oh no, this MP3 file that's 5, 10 megabytes is horrible. It doesn't sound good. It sounds okay enough for most of us.